graphite pencils or colored pencils. I'm a photographer, I'm a mixed media artist. I'm an oil painter, mostly. I am a big advocate of recycling and I used to get very frustrated seeing junk mail and colored printed paper thrown out every, every week. So I decided I'm gonna use that instead of paint in my artwork. I've been drawing since I remember. Um, and you know, you always grow up, you're trying to figure out what you wanna do with your life and nothing really clicked with me. And as soon as I got into high school, I started taking art classes and realized that this is what I wanna do. My inspiration comes from what I see around me. Um, sometimes from what's inside, I then go out and look to find a certain object, but mostly I'm inspired by what I see. Um, what consider, I consider myself a figurative realist. Um, studied with uh, a couple of uh, well-known figure painters, artists. Art and Soul is a creative network that is designed to foster creativity, networking, and promotion throughout the Capital District and beyond. It's really all in the name, Art and Soul, you know. It's a network of artists putting their heart and soul and their dedication into their work, and Art and Soul is the next step. You know, it's, it's word of mouth, and when you're doing it by yourself, you can't get the exposure, but with Art and Soul, you know, they know where to put the word. And I've always, since I, I'm part of the Upstate Artists Guild, I tend to help put people's work up, and no one has really pushed me, helped me put my work up or get my work out there. The Heart and Soul is like a headhunter for artists and uh, you want to find people, you go to this one website and you'll find photographers, musicians, everything. If you can create art with any medium, they, you can be a part of Art and Soul. Art and Soul is a place to find artists of all different genres, uh, from drawing to painting, photography, sculpture, or just those with a creative soul. I've come in contact with so many different artists and mediums and styles that I've never even thought of and just seeing how other people do their work and techniques they use has really broadened my horizons. The benefits are, at least for me, have been in the exposure of my artwork. It's given me opportunities I wouldn't have had to display my work. Um, which in turn has helped me grow. As an artist, you're always looking for places to show and how to sell your work. You spend so much time doing that, you don't spend any time making art. So it's most, impor most important to me that I actually get to make some art and then know I'm gonna have a place to show it without stressing out about it. So uh, what Art and Soul does is what, with one phone call I can get to a place because otherwise that five step thing becomes a one step thing for me and that, that helps a lot. I was looking for shops to do consignment in, and a new shop opened up right where I, uh, right next to the town I live in. And I got in contact with her, and she had met Janet through a friend, and that's how I met Janet, and just got involved with it. One day I was just exploring galleries, and then I saw Janet's um, art and soul thing in the Colony Art League newsletter, and I called her, and I'm so glad I did. Uh, art and Soul will take a commission uh, from each show that we go to, and the commission is always a lot smaller than any other place I've seen. Usually it's 50 or 60 percent, and Art and Soul is way below that. Um, I came from, first from L.A., and then I was in San Francisco for 10 years, and in San Francisco there's an artist in every corner, and coming here was a completely different experience, but yet I was surprised at how much art there really is and how many people really want to create and make art. I love it here. Um, I've lived in Tennessee, I lived in Ohio, I've lived in many different uh, cities and uh, towns in those states and then I never really knew any artists. I couldn't find anybody interested in it and then as soon as I moved to New York it was like bam, you know, it's art enthusiasts. I tend to meet um, with others around group shows that we're having and special events. There are also educational classes. We usually will meet up at uh, art shows, um, and uh, we usually just uh, will find a central location that works for Janet and the artist, and that's where we would meet. Membership gets you a meeting with Janet, who really works with you specifically and personally. I would recommend definitely getting involved. Uh, you always know where the shows are, so definitely going to the shows, you know, getting out there and getting the exposure, and Art and Soul is great for that. Go to the shows, always go to the shows. You should always get out and see art anyway. You, as an artist, you don't want to live in a vacuum. Art and Soul, Art and Soul. Art and Soul. www.artandsoulinc.com. Mm -hmm.